So a big, big field, minimal spots, 20 laps. Here we go, the B main for the Modified Sedan Championship of Queensland, four spots of weight in the A main. Who's it gonna be? Lee Steffens on the inside of the front row and away we go. See our 27 of Shane McDonald working the high line. And looking pretty good there too at the moment as they come onto the main straight and it's Sam McDonald who gets the jump on him. 69 of Harris, Russell Harris up into uh, second spot at the moment. Third spot I should say. Up behind Lee Stephens. But it's McDonald, Shane McDonald. We're getting nicely down there, feet wide. Back in about eighth or ninth spot. But these are the front four. The first four are broken right away. And if it stays that way, there's going to be a lot of panic back in the field because they've got a big market already. McDonald leading the way from Stephens. And the 12, the 12 already up there, Mark Carlin. Carlin wants to get in another Australian final and it should be very interesting now that he's got that car going, even starting at the rear. So he's got third spot at the moment up in front of uh, Harris in the 69, Russell Harris. Further back then, Robert Trapp, followed by Peter White. And behind White is uh, Paisy Clegg, Steve Blackburn and the 11 trying to go on the inside. Couldn't quite do it. And the Shane McDonald is. Shane McDonald, Lee Stephens, Mark Carlin. We're the way to try and uh, get him in the field if they possibly can. We got uh, 14 laps after this one to go. McDonald, Stephens, Carlin, Harris, we've got a problem. Down the bottom there. And uh, the 15 of Richard Crooks involved in that one, the 11 of Blackburn. And the green light comes on, away we go. Those four had a big break before. That's going to be very interesting indeed because Robert Trapp's right up there in fifth spot. On the bubble at the moment is Russell Harris. In the 69 car, once again these four are broken away. In the blinking of an eye. Few of them coming from the rear of the field. Let's see the opportunity. Behind Harris we got the trap. Then we got White. Then the 59 of Lester. Coming with a run. Darren Lester. He's got that 59 percolating along rather nicely. And wrapping in the field Wayne Fisher. But at the moment it's... Uh, the 27 of Shane McDonald. Follow oh, Lee Stephens and have a look at uh, Carlin going on. Carlin getting on the back of Stephens every now and then he pokes a nose up there. Let's him know he's there. Russell Harris on the bubble but looking fairly solid there too. These four, as I say, have broken away from the rest of the field. Robert Trapp still in the fifth spot, but uh, unable to do anything about it. We come around with closing on 11 to go. So the 27 of Shane McDonald, our leader. Lee Stephens in second place. Mark Carlin in third. Harris just dropping back a little bit, but not enough to be in danger from attack from behind by led, the pack led by uh, Robert Trapp. Peter White there, Darren Lister. All over the back of the 1 1 1. Let me go back to Lee Bolt. Then car number 10 first. Pays it, Clegg. With our leaders. Doing it pretty well. The front door. Shane McDonald. Lee Stephens. Gotta keep their noses clean. Overtaking flag, Shane McDonald there. Lee Stephens, Carlin is just going right around the outside of the seven car. Of Thomas Hunter, successfully so now, clear near in front of them. Across the stride one more time, a seven left to go. And a healthy lead now for Shane McDonald. In second place still, Lee Stephens. Mark Carlin up there in third, trying to build himself a little bit of insurance if he possibly can. Russell Harris in fourth, and these look for all the world like they're going to take it out. Still lap traffic in the form 
On the seven, causing a little bit of a problem with the boys. Robert Trapp goes on the inside of Thomas Hunter. And trying to go with him too is Darren Lester in the 59. Successfully so. But you can virtually forget the others. Oh, here goes Carlin with a run. Tries to go on the inside of uh, Lee Stephens. Almost contact made. That would have been catastrophic if that had happened. Four laps this time around. And the CR27 looking very, very good indeed. Jay McGoll, we got a problem down there with the... With Fisher, I think it is, down there in the 76 car. But uh, we've got five laps to go in this one. All right, green light on, away we go for the remaining five laps in this one, and it's Shane McDonald leading away from Lee Stephens. Liam on the moment, all that Russell Harris is under a little bit of pressure out there at the moment. On a trap, right behind him, Darren Lester. Now Lester moves up one. Trap's coming back at him while they fight. Oh, we got a problem down there. Big problem, and over we go with Darren Lester. Darren Lester, that all happened with problems then down there for Russell Harris who got really out of shape out of four they all bunched up behind him and look what happened the 59 unfortunately the man on the bubble there the, the man right behind the bubble I should say 59 Darren Lester a series of barrel rolls there spectacular stuff but my goodness me here we go and we got the four there there's a big gap back to five anyway so probably all over Red Rover Shane McDonald is leading the way pretty much from the get-go. These four have been there. The eight of Lee Stephens. Going right down the line. We'll mark them in very shortly and give you the full read in due course. Comes final time. A little bit of trailing body work. Should be okay. Plenty of work being done out there by uh, Mark Carlin to try and move up one position. Uh, it's always fraught with danger, that. One more spot back in the field is not going to make much difference. I've seen that happen in sprint cars when they bring themselves undone. Oh, Stephens hit a little bit out of shape. This might be Carlin's opportunity to go through it is. No big loss for Stephens, though. He's still in the hunt. Is that, uh, these four are broken right away. And you've got to believe that these four are going to go in. Barring something unforeseen, it's going to be that way. But look at Carl, and he is desperate to try and move up when we've got uh, checkered flag time. And here we go, McDonald and Carl and Stephens. And that's how they line up. CR27 in position number 17. The V12 of Carl in position 18. The G8 of Stephens, he will be in position 19. And the, uh, the C69 of Russell Harris will round out the field subject to confirmation.